In this video, we're going to be going through how to plan and then speak about the IELTS speaking task part two. In the IELTS speaking task part two, the examiner will give you a card and give you one minute to start writing. Here is my technique. Here's the question. Describe a country you have visited. Say where it is, when you visited, and something interesting about this country. Well, I'm gonna talk about uh, Georgia, which is in Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe near Russia. Um, I'm gonna say I visited there. I've been, actually, I've been three times. Um, something interesting. Well, there is a, there's good food. Pori, Kinkali, uh, there's a funicular, I want to go again, and there is wine in a horn, um, and it was in Tbilisi. Okay, so we have the plan, and now I'm going to demonstrate how I would answer this question. So can we have two minutes on the clock? I want to talk to you about the country of Georgia, not to be confused with the American state of Georgia. This is the country that borders Russia, and its capital is Tbilisi. I visited Georgia about three times, and each time was more fun than the last. Something interesting about the country is its food. There is lots of traditional Georgian food, such as kinkali and kachapuri. Kachapuri is like a pizza where the bread, the crust is rolled up and there's egg and cheese in the middle and they mix it up with butter, add salt and pepper, and it's a really tasty, delicious meal. I wish I could have brought some back with me, but they don't really sell it where I live. Another one is kinkali, which is like a big Chinese dumpling, and when you bite into it, the juice comes out and then you eat the meat. One of the more interesting things about Georgia, and especially in Tbilisi, is that they have something called a funicular. A funicular is like a, a pulley system that pulls a train up this really steep hill, and it's a way that the Tbilisi people commute to and from work, so they don't have to go up and down the steep hill in the middle of the city every single day. They would be very fit if they did. Another reason I enjoyed Georgia was they, their drinking culture. Uh, they sit around the table to have food and they do toasts where they, you know, they cheers the health or family. And the good thing is that the glasses come in a horn shape, like a horn, so you can't put your glass down, which means after every toast, you have to drink all of your wine because if you put it down, it would spill everywhere. I would love to visit Georgia again, but this time I would like to learn some of the language because the people seem so interesting and the culture seems so diverse but I didn't understand all of it because I couldn't understand the language. So in the future, when I go next, I'll make a real effort to learn the local language, or at least enough to say hello or goodbye. So again, some tips, make sure that you tell a story. You don't necessarily have to cover all of the bullet points because it will take a very short amount of time to do that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Watch this video next. Good luck and smash those IELTS exams.